Hey guys, I'm Dan Percival, I'm founder of the Sport of Extreme Ice Skating. In this particular video, I'm going to show you how to create a testing video. In other words, if you want to test in the Sport of Extreme Ice Skating, there's a format and there's a process of doing that. And I'm going to take you through that process and show you exactly what's required of you so that you can test in the sport. So let's take you over to the computer where I have already created a sample test for you and you will use this as a format. First though, you'll need to know the rules of creating the testing video. So if you go to the official website and you click on testing and under on that page under where it says testing rules, see our rules page, uh, you just basically click on that and that will take you to the rules page for creating a testing video and the video I'm about to show you, the testing template can be viewed at the top here, you can download small large um, for your convenience and finally here's the content of the video, it's got to have uh, this required information which I will go over shortly, uh, the date and the footage which, which must be uncut and you can't press stop or pause or any of that while you are recording your video. Secondly, the skating footage must have a front and side view. Uh, you're allowed to up to five do-overs per trick. So, um, what basically you can, you must do it over. Say, if you're doing a hawk turn and you screw it up, you have to do it over to, until you can before you can move on to the next trick. Uh, and you also let's just back up here when it says front and side view you have to do the front and side view uh, and get it right for each trick before you move on to the next trick uh, and then finally it just reiterates once again that uh, you cannot uh, cut the video whatsoever so it's supposed to make it a little bit more difficult even though this is a beginner test so second uh, thirdly video content and recording there must be sufficient light it's got to be clear enough uh, and you know if you it takes you through all the rules of what you can and cannot do and it's important to follow all these rules because if you if you do not follow any of these rules, you break any of these rules, we're going to ask you to resubmit your testing video. Um, it, we won't charge you extra if after the wave waiver period. So in other words, we're going to have a wave, we're going to waive the testing fee f until the end of June of this year. And then after that, say you te you submit a testing video, and you do not follow one of these rules, we're going to email you back and say, please redo the test, and follow exactly to this to these rules on this page. But we're not going to charge you; it just requires you to redo the video. Okay, so let's move on. Now we have to uh, show you the actual format of the video. So here we go. And the actual format I'm going to be showing you is what's shown here at the top, which means that you have to still read over all these rules on this particular page. All right, so here's my desktop, and let's look at the particular testing template video I made. So here, uh, first name and last initial, the registration number that you received when you signed up for the sport, um, and then the testing level. And of course, if you have not signed up and you are interested in testing in the sport, then uh, you will have to become a member. And then the next screen, uh, it should be about three or four seconds each screen, just enough so I could read the screen. It says, testing submitted. I made a mistake here, just so you guys know. I meant to be a two, not a three. Um, it's March 29th, 2009. You have to put the date to which you submitted the testing video to the official website, uh, whatever that date is for you guys, but you must say testing submitted and the date. Uh, let's move on. So here's the testing footage uh, that, you'll, that you'll be doing. The, ne the next scene is the actual te testing footage that you'll get into, and here it shows the one footed stop. Um, I did the I did the tricks in no particular order. You guys can do the tricks in any order you want, but it must. Here's my side view. You must have a front view and a side view before moving on to the next trick. So you will see that I had made a few errors throughout, and I I think I did a maximum of maybe two or three do overs, not five, but you're allowed up to five. So that's a combined of front and side view. 
So I did the one forwarded stop front view and then the side view twice. So here in me it shows me doing a tuck stop. I screwed it up and I'm going to do it again for the front view. And I felt like that was not a good one either. That would fail the test because of loss of balance. And so I felt that was a good front view. So now I'm going to move on to the side view. I had moved over or tilted my body forward a little bit on that particular one. So I felt like I had to do that again. And that was a successful run for the tuck stop. And then finally there are two more. There's a hawk turn on the heel stop which I do. And you'll see coming up here that I did not do a successful hawk turn so I do it again. I do maybe one or two takeover for it. Successful. And I believe I realized I did this off camera. So I did it again for a side view on camera. And then finally there's the heel stop. And somebody actually passes in front of the camera here, but they don't block the shot. See, so it did, I didn't have to redo it. I decided to do that front view over again because I was not uh, happy with it. And when you guys are actually testing, you have to... Uh, be running through the, all the rules in your in, in your in your head. Make sure that you're aware that if you if you really think you screwed up and you might fail the test, we'll do the trick over again. And finally, that was the side view and the end of this test, which was a successful run through. So. Uh, you have the rules page, I showed you the rules page for creating a testing video and I showed you the template which you must follow and if you have any other questions just let me know, contact me at the official website and uh, we hope that you get involved in testing soon. It's I'll be learning the sport along with you guys, it's not an easy sport but uh, it's a lot of fun creating it and if you guys uh, want to help create the sport and develop the sport I, uh, I am eager to work along with you. So. I um, hope to hear from you soon. Good luck.